January of last year, uh, mm -hmm. 2008, I had my first meeting with Hyundai, uh, uncertain of my program's strength with, with GM. And obviously later on in that year, in August of 08, uh, I got the call from GM that they were pulling out of not only Drift, but multiple programs and teams for, for the 2009 series. With that in mind, um, we kind of went back to Hyundai and kind of exercised our options on, on what they wanted to do and what we could offer as a team. And Drift was still a struggle. It had been since January of talking to them. Mm -hmm. um, but we repackaged the program and, mm -hmm. and now we're really trying to show the diversity of the Genesis platform and the fact that it can hill climb, it can road race with time attack and it can drift as well. So same car suits different personalities. Right. Whatever interests you, this car can cater to. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've designed on the program here. Uh, we will do some time attack events, we will do Pikes Peak Hill Climb and we will do the Drift Championship with the same car. Sweet. Um, when you do like the hill climb, how much do you have to change the setup from when you're drifting in this car? Or can it run almost the same? You know, to attack Pikes Peak, the spring rates will be the same, the ride heights will be the same. Mm -hmm. The only thing we will change that will differ tremendously will be the size of the brakes. Um, you've got pavement and you've got dirt here, and obviously these little brakes that we run uh, are really geared just to dab the car in two or three spots. Mm -hmm. Try to do multiple laps around a, a road course or several miles up Pikes Peak, and you're going to have brake pressure, uh, brake temperatures excess of probably seven, eight hundred degrees, and there'll be a bunch of melted metal there. Um, and then for time attack, obviously staying with those brakes, but we'll go with different sway bar and different spring rates um, increased on both sides of things. Um, but the, the chassis it's saying, the aerodynamic package, outside of the little modification I did earlier myself <laughs> on run, run one, um, will effectively be the same. Cool. Okay, one more thing that's a little bit off from the technical stuff. Do you remember your victory speech from Red Bull World Champion? The, the last thing that you said when you were on the podium? Uh, not really, no. It might have been something to do with those sponsors I spoke to or those yeah. that threw me down. <laughs> yes, exactly. Did you catch any flack from that? Because um, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I thought that know, was the best thing ever. You know, we last year we had spoken to Mazda. Um, we had spoken to Scion. Mm. And uh, we had spoken to Nitto. We had spoken to Falcon. Uh, Cooper, everyone, because we had lost our tire deal and we had lost our manufacturer deal. So, so we were hunting for something. Uh, and there was not a lot of takers. Um, I didn't know if it was because their programs had already been decided at that point or what the deal was. But uh, out, out, of, out of my little speech at Red Bull <laughs> after winning the championship, you know, I was a little excited and I was going to throw it in the face of those that chose not to support us. And uh, I feel that we've got a fantastic program this year, probably stronger than I've had in the last five years. And to run on course for the first time on these Toyo Proxies R1R tires, there's a reason why Tanner Fowles won two championships. <laughs>